All right, Shalom I'm to the nation of Israel and to the hopeful elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Chakodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. By Hashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, I want to give double honors to my elders and my elder apostles of the great millstone, time of the truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you, Akim, that's, that's how they're pushing this truth. All right, it's the brother Barakim, friend of Jim, branch out of the Moines. I will come back at you with another video through the Holy Spirit. And, um, uh, in this lesson, you know, uh, Spirit uh, was on me to, you know, touch up on uh, what's going on over in uh, in Iceland uh, with the whole volcano eruption, you know, that's about to take place pretty soon, you know, and uh, just wanted to touch on that topic, you know, so Lord's willing, this video is edifying, and I uh, got an article pulled up as well, but I'm going to grab it, grab it uh, after I read this precept right here in the book of uh, Second Nerds 15. In verse 1, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said, said the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah. All right, and we have uh, uh, the words of prophecy. You know, this is our job to, to prophesy. You know, we're prophets, so we're all to prophesy, you know. And we have the words of prophecy through through our Lord, Yahweh Shah. It speaks about that in the book of uh, Revelation 19. It says that... Um, uh, 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 it says that the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. Okay. So we've been given that spirit of prophecy, you know, through our Lord Yahweh Shah. But verse two, it says, it says, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Okay. So these words are faithful and true. These words are coming to pass, you know, uh, as we speak, man, you know, the different prophecies, you know, the different plagues, pestilence, all right, the earthquakes, you know, Lord's will, we're going to get all these precepts, you know, but this is, this is what's uh, 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 taking place right now, man. Okay. But uh, let me, I want to grab this article real quick. So this is, uh, you know, the, the New York times. Um, it's, so it says, um, it says a volcano may erupt in Iceland. Here's what to know for now. Um, it says, while the authorities continue to warn for a volcano, a volcanic eruption, they say that any disruption to air travel will probably be, probably be uh, uh, minimal. It says, um, reading down, it says Iceland is bracing for a possible volcanic eruption. It says since late October, tens of thousands of earthquakes have been reported in the uh, wreck Jane's uh peninsula it says in the southwestern part of the country it says at one point there were as many as 1400 in a single 24-hour period man and that's a lot of earthquakes you know within a single within a single day man uh, a thousand you know but that's showing you that that we're uh uh, uh it's showing you that the times that we're in man you know just uh earlier this year you know you had that earthquake um uh, Ah, man, I can't remember exactly where it was at. Um, uh, I can't put a, a, a finger on it, but, you know, it, it was it was a major earthquake over over in Europe, you know, that uh, that killed over thousands. You know, I believe the, the rate was up to four thousand, you know, that got killed in uh, during that earthquake, man, you know. And there's been and there's been multiple earthquakes, you know, that's been happening in, in the past years, man. You know, in the recent years, I'll say, you know, but this is how we know that we're in the end times, you know, because it speaks about that in the book of Matthew. All right. When his disciples came to Yahweh Shah, you know, they asked him, what was the, what would be the end size and uh, the end, the end times, the end of the times and the signs of thy coming? You know, and, uh, and Yahweh Shah, he mentioned about the, the, the wars, the uh, rumors of wars, the earthquakes in diverse places, man, you know, and that's what we're currently seeing, man. We're seeing prophecy be uh, unfolded. You know, but uh, let me see. I, uh, I'll read this next one. It says uh, on Tuesday, the Icelandic Met Office, the country's weather service, warned that there was a, that there was a significant likelihood of a volcanic eruption in the coming days. It says that the increased seismic, <clears throat> uh, the increased seismic activity and the formation of a nine mile underground river of magma have led the authorities to. In recent days to declare a state of emergency and to evacuate the small fishing town of Grindavik, where more than th uh, more than 3000 people live. All right. So they're right there uh, establishing um, a state of emergency, you know, uh, right now over in uh, in that area, man. You know, 
And it says that uh, where more than 3,000 people live, man, you know. So uh, so if that volcano was was to erupt, man, a, a lot of people will, be, will get a, 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 a will die, man, you know. Hey, but like once again, you know, this is this is showing that uh, that we're in these end times, man. All these different things that's taking place, man, synonymous, synonymously, you know. But uh, let's jump back and let's go. Um, let's get this in the book of. Uh, let's actually jump over to Second Edges nine. This Second Edges nine and verse one. It says, "He answered me then and said." Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the times, the signs past, which I have told thee before, it says, Then shalt thou understand that is that it was the very same time wherein the highest will begin the visit where the, slack it. It says, I'm gonna read verse two again, slack it. It says, Then shalt thou understand that it is the same, that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay. And, uh, and that's how the Lord is visiting this place, man. All right. Through, uh, we, matter of fact, let's grab that. <clears throat> that's uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 29. Whoops. 29 and uh, verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, with earthquake, with great noise, with storm and tempest and, and flame of devouring fire, man. Okay. So that's how the Lord is the, is uh visiting this place, man. All right, through the through through different uh, uh um. All right, through the earthquakes, you know it says a uh, storm and tempest, you know which is uh your tornadoes, your hurricanes, flame uh, uh flame of devouring fire. Just a couple years ago, you had uh, those different wildfires up in Canada, you know over in uh California, uh even over in Europe and uh Australia, you know. So that's how the Lord is uh, uh, visiting this place, man, through these different plagues, man. All right. Through these different uh, uh, natural disasters, so to speak, man. All right. Because what it says that the Lord uh, um, does all these things, man. Let's grab that. That's, uh, actually, I'll just swipe over. That's uh, Isaiah 40, uh, 45 and uh, verse 7. It says, um, it says, I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace, I create, and it says, and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. All right, so it's all of Yahweh Shem El Shah that's, that's, that's doing these things, man, within the earth, okay? It says, shall a trumpet, sh uh, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the Lord have not, uh, um, I'm going to misquote it, slack like you. Uh, Amos uh, 3 and 6. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? All right. So it's the Lord that's doing uh, all, all these wondrous, you know, works within the uh, within the earth, man. You know, in the book of Sirach, it says that uh, prosper prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come from the Lord, you know. And so, it's, so, so once again, you know, it's all of the Lord that's doing these things and we're out here prophesying. And telling you that it's the Lord doing these things, man. All right, not not Satan, all right, not the not the devil, you know. People believe that it's a, a, a spiritual demon, Satan, you know, that's doing all these things. No, it's it's, it's Yahweh Shem Al Shah, man. All right, but uh, going back to that second address, uh, second address nine, verse one, and um. I read verse two again. It says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. OK. And once again, you know, it's, it, it literally just said it, you know, it talked about those um, uh, thousand and four hundred earthquakes that happened in a 24 hour period, man. OK. But it says, um, then shalt thou will understand that the most high spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, for like as they so like it, it says, for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So it says, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs and all right. And that's what we're seeing, man, the different signs. All right, once again, going back to that Matthew. We can actually grab that. Um, uh, whoops. Uh, 
Matthew uh, 24. All right. So this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 3. It says, And he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall, be, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? All right. So that's what his disciples uh, came and asked him, man. All right. The, 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 the sign of thy coming. Okay. And this is what Yahweh Shah said. It says, And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I, I am I am a Mashiach. All right. It says, And shall deceive many. Verse 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's what we're currently seeing right now. You know, over in, uh, um, <clears throat> over in uh, the Middle East, man. The different wars and rumors of wars that's, that's uh, uh, taking place and that's about to, um, uh, about to increase, you know, for lack of better words. It says, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must com come to pass, but the end is not yet. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All right. And it says that all these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So once again, we, we, we can we can we can see that we're in the end, all right, through prophecy, man. All right. Kingdom against kingdom, you know, nation against nation, uh famines, pestilence, earthquakes, you know. And and on top of that, all these things are gonna start happening more and more and more as we uh, as we get closer to the uh to the day of uh Yahweh Shah, man. All right, and they're gonna start happening more synonymous synonymously, man. All right. There's going to be more pestilence. There's going to be more earthquakes. OK. There's going to be famine. All right. In different uh, parts of the earth, man. You know, but it says that all these are uh, are the beginning of sorrows, man. You know, so it's all uh, a Shah, man. You know, so uh, Lord's willing, this video is edifying. Um, I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Rechakorash. Double honor to my elders, my other apostles of Great Millstone, taught me the truth and on down, on down, slack it. That taught me the truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you. I'm going to the truth. Until next time, shalom.